Scorpio, welcome to your June 15th through the 31st tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi, and I'll be doing your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I do want to let you know before we get started that I do have a new website that launched and it's in the description box below. So if you click on the description box, there's a link to my website. <clears throat> I do offer private readings. There's two different options. You can click on shop now and that lists all of my readings that I do, I record and I put on YouTube unlisted so you can only see it if you have the direct link and then I send you the direct link within 48 hours of your order. Um, if it takes longer then I will email you but right now it is 48 hours. Um, I also have a book now feature which is new and you can book me for a live Skype call. They are more expensive but we talk one on one through Skype which is really cool. So I just want to let you know about that. Let's get started with your reading today. So I'm using the Energy Oracle. Um, I need one card for the central theme of Scorpio's reading today. What is the central theme? Okay. This one? Okay. So the door to personal healing and happiness, but it's in the reverse. So that means that you close the door to your personal healing and happiness. Um, you either quit a diet or you stopped counseling or you did something that closed the door on your personal healing and happiness. Um, so you made some sort of change and that's causing, um, there's a lack of peace here. There's a lack of hope. You feel a little hopeless. You feel a little restless um, when this reverses. All right, and now I'm going to use tarot and we're going to do a spread. It's um, like the Romney Gypsy spread only it's just a little bit different <clears throat> and I put two decks together because I feel like it gives me a more accurate reading so if a card comes up twice it adds extra significance and I do read reversals so I need three cards for Scorpio's st current state of mind what is Scor Scorpio's current state of mind June 15th through the 31st of 2018 three cards for Scorpio's current state of mind all right, so we have the Emperor reversed. The Emperor is a major arcana card. When he reverses, there's impatience here. There's irresponsibility. There could definitely be some narcissism going on. There's rejection, kind of like Bridezilla. <laughs> um, very, very selfish. Uh, there's abandonment. There's a sense of entitlement here. Um, there's a not taking advices uh there's an enemy here there's crime there's being exposed and that's the card of aries what else is going on in scorpio's state of mind presently what else is going on in scorpio's state of mind presently okay so i have the three of pentacles and it's in the upright um, so there's teamwork, there's gaining qualifications, there's not cutting corners, there's building, and this is with a Capricorn. So on one hand, we have some narcissism, we have some selfishness, we have some irresponsibility going on in your mind, and then we also have some teamwork. So Aries is a fire sign. Aries is very ambitious. Aries is I am me, um, very self-assertive and strong. In the reverse, there could be some temper tantrums, uh, kind of like this volcanic temper that it's all calm and then all of a sudden it just erupts out of nowhere and the whole village is left in ruin but the volcano is like, eh, hey, what's going on? I'm fine. <laughs> um, so very temperamental, um, reckless, spontaneous. And then we have this earth energy. We have this Capricorn energy, which is I achieve, which is very practical and grounded works well in a team which is completely different than the emperor reverse the emperor reverse doesn't he's very narcissistic and then the three of pentacles on the other hand is very um team and goal oriented very conservative ambitious responsible um 
uh, formal, sensual, organized, patient. So the Emperor Reverse is very impatient, whereas the Three of Pentacles is very patient. So there's conflict here with your current state of mind. On one hand, you're being very narcissistic and you're being very impatient and you're being very reckless and you're ve being very temperamental. On the other hand, you're being very patient. You're being very team oriented. You're being very patient. Um, so there, there's a conflict here. It's almost like bipolar. It feels like bipolar. Um, what else is going on in Scorpio's present state of mind? What else is going on in Scorpio's present state of mind? Or it could be that you have a narcissist on your mind and you want to build, you want to work as a team, but this narcissist is being very temperamental, being very moody, being very um, dominant, and you want to work on the team. Or it could be vice versa. You're being very narcissistic. Um, no, no, I don't get that. It would either be you have a narcissist on your mind. All right, so also on your mind, we have strength in the reverse. This is another major arcana card. So this is uh, depression, despair. There's a loss of control here, being overwhelmed, um, an overinflated ego. Cats out of the bag, um, secrets were revealed. And then we have the Six of Swords. And strength is Leo energy. So can we have this fire energy, this ambitious, aggressive energy um, that's very temperamental, uh, both in the reverse with the fire energy. So it's very reckless whenever it's in the reverse. And then we have this stable, grounded energy in between holding everything together. It's, there's not exactly a lot of conflict here, um, but it, it's not exactly getting along either. And then we have the Six of Swords in the upright. And the Six of Swords in the upright is moving away from conflict. Um, it's distancing yourself from bad situations, escaping abusive situations, Returning to life after trauma. There's a rite of passage, a transition. This is the card of Aquarius. So it's a very rebellious spirit, um, very uh, emotionally detached, very cold energy, um, very uh, freedom loving energy. So what I'm seeing is at the very beginning, we have a narcissist and that's what's on your mind. That's your present state of mind. There, there's somebody who's very um, impatient. It could be an Aries um, or somebody who just has that Aries feel to them, but they're, they're very like self-absorbed. They have low self-esteem, but they're self-absorbed. They only care about themselves. They don't care about you. They don't care who they hurt. Um, they go through cycles where they come in and they charm you. They love bomb you. They tell you everything that you want to hear. And then everything that they once loved about you, they now hate. And they start nitpicking and tearing you down, uh, tearing down your self-esteem. And then they just go away. They'll, they'll either give you a silent treatment or they'll go away altogether. And uh, then the, they come back and they try to suck you back in, but the abuse gets worse and worse each time. And then we have the three of pentacles, which is teamwork. So you're trying to work as a team. You're not cutting corners. You want to build something. You have this practical, stable Capricorn energy where you hate change and you want stability. Um, but unfortunately, secrets have came out. The cat's out of the bag. You can't hide anything with strength reversed. Um, there's a loss of control and there's definitely some depression here. And then you're on this, you're changing. There, there's the winds of change. They're coming in with the six of swords. The winds of change are here and you're moving on towards the future.
and you're not looking back at the past you're moving on towards the future there's there's a rite of passage and you're escaping an abusive situation here mentally so you're mentally distancing yourself from this abusive situation all right what self-improvement spiritual development or health um health actions can scorpio take to improve Three cards for self-improvement, spiritual development, or health. Three cards for self-improvement, spiritual development, or health for Scorpio. June 15th is going to help Scorpio along their way. It's going to help Scorpio along their way. Alright. Three cards exactly perfect. Okay, so the first thing that we have is the Ace of Cups, but it's in the reverse. So there's blocked or repressed emotions here. So you need to process your emotions. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to feel in order to heal. So you have to feel in order to heal. So it hurts, but resistance causes more pain. Anytime that you resist, it causes more pain. If you ever have a stomach ache and say you have to vomit and you, you hold it in, it causes more pain. But once you vomit, once you release it, all the pain is gone and you can move on with your life. Emotions are the same way and they can make you physically ill. So you have to process your emotions. You have to feel them. You have to be honest with yourself. Whatever this person did to you, it hurt. Whatever is going on with you, there is massive amounts of pain here. And you have to process that. You have to feel that completely and totally. You have to allow yourself to cry. You have to allow yourself to feel it. Uh, and that will help you to unblock those emotions. And then we have the Nine of Wands, and it's in the upright, so this is also going to help you. Um, nine is, you're constantly on guard, you're taking on way too much, um, you're trying to cope, this is the battle-weary soldier, there's too many battles that you fought, you need to reflect on your past, uh, discover your strengths, and quit re repeating the same mistakes. This is Sagittarius energy. Now the Ace of Cups, it's your energy. This is water energy. It's all about emotions and intuition. Um, it could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So it's not specifically any sign. Um, the Nine of Wands is specifically Sagittarius energy. So this is very outgoing, optimistic. This is I aim, takes risk, gambles. It's a very independent energy, very enthusiastic, um, very uh, adventurous all right and then we have the chariot this is the card of cancer and it's in the upright this is a major arcana card so the chariot is gaining control uh, going on a journey control over your emotions um, coming out of codependency uh, you're hiding behind a mask here, um, hiding your emotions. Um, appearances can be deceiving. Having multiple uh, choices of where to go. So, so there's conflict here because we have water with the Ace of cups and then we have fire with the nine of wands and then we have water again with the chariot and water and fire don't mix water boils fire and fire i'm sorry water puts out fire and fire boils water so so those are two completely different opposing forces together and they don't they don't mix um, so there is some being uncomfortable here that you have to go through. There is some conflict. You can't avoid conflict. You have to deal with things face on. You can't be passive aggressive. And that will help you to heal. 
All right, so what's going on in Scorpio's family and home life? Three cards for Scorpio's family and home life. Three cards for Scorpio's family and home life, please. Okay, so I have the King of Cups reversed. I have the Queen of Cups reversed. So that's a perfect couple. Good, the King and Queen, but they're both in the reverse. And then I have the Four of Cups. So this is all water energy. This is all getting back into your energy. So right here we have the King of Cups and he's in the reverse. So when the King of Cups reverses, he's overly emotional. He's moody, he's depressed, he's sulky, um, he's unloving, he's repressed emotions, he's stressed, there's addictions here and there's infidelity. When the Queen of Cups reverses, uh, we have manipulation, we have jealousy, we have bitterness, we have um, like being a fashion victim, like dressing bad, um, we have a heartbreaker, uh, we have uh, blocked or repressed emotions again, being self-centered, so we have narcissist, narcissistic personality disorder again here with the Queen of Cups reversed. The King of Cups reversed can also be narcissistic, and they're emotional manipulators, both of them. And this is getting back into your energy. This is back into water energy. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And uh, it's like this perfect, perfect couple, but they're not seeing eye to eye. The Queen of Cups is looking towards the past, and the King of Cups is looking towards the past too. Neither one of them are present. Neither one of them are looking towards the future. They're both like stuck in the past. They're both being manipulative. They're both blocking and repressing their emotions. They're both um, only like being very self-absorbed. Um, neither one of them are like facing reality whatsoever. Um, they're both just like completely so self-absorbed and stuck in the past that they're not seeing anything that's in front of them. And that goes back to the Four of Cups that we have here. So we have the Four of Cups and it's in the upright and this is a card of Cancer. So Cancer is very moody. Cancer is very manipulative. Um, cancer is very like nurturing, sensitive, motherly. Um, it's I feel energy. It's um, it's a very impressionable, very reflective, nostalgic energy. Um, it can be somewhat lazy. It's always stuck in the past. Cancers are always stuck in the past. Um, they have this hard shell that's hard to break um, that, that kind of keeps them protected. But the Four of Cups, you're not looking at what you have you're looking at what you don't have. There's apathy here. There's being very moody. There's being depressed. There's being um, apathetic. There's being um, like hungover. There's being um, antisocial, no friends, just kind of staying to yourself and just being very sad and very depressed. And this is all water energy. This is all very emotional, um, very sensitive, uh, very moody, and very depressive. Very de there, there's a lot of depression here currently in your family and home life. All right, three cards for Scorpio's ro romantic and social life, please. Three cards for Scorpio's romantic and social life. Okay, so I have the Five of Cups in the reverse. Um, so the Five of Cups in the reverse is moving on. Acceptance, forgiveness, and this is your card. This is the card of Scorpio. Um, so it's bringing about your very passionate energy, your very intense energy, but this is also bringing about your very vengeful, vindictive energy. Um, it's also bringing about your very dark, um, possessive, obsessive, um, turbulent energy, um, very jealous, envious energy. So it's just bringing about all these, because it's in the reverse, it's bringing about all these negative aspects to 
to your son. It's it's bring a lot of obsession, jealousy, very emotional, very intense. All right, two more cards for Scorpio's romantic and social life. Two more cards for Scorpio's romantic and social life, please. Remember, this is just for two weeks. Um, so if you don't like it, you can change it. That's why you get a tarot reading. If you don't like something, you can change it. Okay, so the tower's here. Um, and it's in the upright. So this is a sudden change. This is brutal. Unexpected. Destructive. It has you shaken to the core. Um, it's a wake-up call. It's a tragedy. There's trauma here. Um, there could be migraines or seizures. So this is very depressive. There's there's a definite trauma here. It happens suddenly and unexpectedly. And then we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So there's a uh, feeling weighed down. There's a lack of motivation. Um, again, we have this very depressive energy. And there's a lot of conflict here in your present situation. Um, again, we have this Aries energy coming towards us. So I'm getting a lot of Aries fire energy. I also have some Sagittarius. I'm getting major Cancer energy and major Aries and Sagittarius energy here. And yeah, the, it, there's a lot of um, being of self-absorbed. No one's looking towards the future. No one's being present here. Everyone's looking at the past. Everyone's sad. Um, there's a major shakeup, and there's no new beginnings here. All right, so what's going on with Scorpio's money from June? 15th through the 31st. What's going on with Scorpio's money? Three cards for Scorpio's money, please. The first is the King of Pentacles, so it's really good. Whatever you touch turns to gold. There's success, wealth, luxury, security. So your money's good. Very good. That, like That's the best money card that you can get. Um, so yeah, that's really good. The magician, you're able to manifest whatever you want in terms of wealth. And the Knight of Pentacles. So you come in, you conquer. Um, there's a staying focused, not taking foolish risks, um, conquering wealth, getting rest, but don't work yourself to the bone. Um, but you, at your money, oh my God, you, you can't get better than that. <laughs> like, like you're able to manifest whatever you want. You have the Midas touch. You are looking towards the future when it comes towards your money. So, you, so whatever investments you have, you're looking towards long-term growth. And you're able to manifest that presently. Um, you're able to change whatever you want into gold. So any investments that you make right now, you're making the right the right choice because you're able to do that. Um, that you can't get better than that financially. So your money is really, really good right now. Um, work, career, and life purpose. Three. Okay, it wants me to take four. So the first we have the card of Gemini. Uh, this is the lovers. So this is self-love, the magic of falling in love, um, examining both sides of a situation, quality communication. Somebody at work may be interested in you, uh, like sexually, just to let you know. We have the Ace of Swords. So there's power, victory, uh, breakthrough in a situation, new plans, new ideas are coming out. There's a new outlook on life in terms of career. Um, so that's really good. And then we have the hanged man reversed. So this is the card of Pisces and there's obsession with work. There's being absorbed. Um, there could be some hidden motives and greed 
in terms of your finance, your, your work and career. And then we have the world reverse. So you're not able to move on. You're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, you're holding on to things a little too tight in terms of your work. But overall, I see finances and work really, really good. There are some major life events in terms of your work, but um, I see that somebody is interested in you at work. You definitely have a secret admirer at work. Um, your home life is really bad right now, unfortunately. But it won't last forever. You, you're in this transitional period. All right, and uh, three cards for the outcome for Scorpio for June 15th through the 31st, please. Three cards for the outcome. Okay, so I have the Page of Wands, and it's in the upright. Um, so there's new ideas, a free spirit, plans, actions, um, burning potential is here, uh, brilliant, creative, imaginative ideas. What else is the outcome? So you're getting inspired. Whatever happened is inspiring you to create something. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's a lost opportunity, opportunity here and there's a lack of playing. So you're so depressed, you're so stuck in whatever this is, that you're turning your back on this massive amount of potential this massive amount of like marvelous ideas um energy you're turning your back on that because of depression what else is the outcome for scorpio and then i have the ten of swords so there's a completion here there's a being released from pain um well, no, there's a complete mental breakdown. You feel backstabbed. Um, there's abuse. There's gossip. You, you feel like you hit rock bottom here. Because of whatever this sudden change was, it really shot, shook you to the core. Because that landed whenever I put it down. I didn't mean to, but I just noticed it landed straight on the tower. So this tower is causing you to feel very backstabbed, betrayed, having a complete mental breakdown. It's just too much for you to handle. It's very painful lessons. But you have this massive potential, this massive creative new beginning that you can you can make. You can be an alchemist. This doesn't have to be your outcome. You can change this. The future is fluid. You can make this into something beautiful. You can take this ugly, ugly, ugly situation that you're going through right now and you can manifest that with the magician here into absolute beauty into absolute beauty you have that with the page of wands there's like this burning this burning potential within you and you can change this and manifest it into something gorgeous that can be very lucrative uh, financially lucrative you can write it down you can write your own story you can write poetry you can create songs you have that potential in you or you can be depressed and let it completely consume you and give you this massive mental and physical breakdown it's it's up to you that that's definitely your choice, but you have that ability to manifest right now. And you can either let it be ugly or you can turn it into something beautiful. Is there any other advice for Scorpio? Any other advice for Scorpio? All right, so I see that you're not walking away from something. You're staying stuck. I don't see that you're walking away. 
I see that you're being very cowardly and you're holding on. You're holding on too tight. And you're you're blocking your intuition. You're blocking your third eye chakra. This is the sixth chakra archangel metron. So you're doing this to yourself. It doesn't have to be this way. You can reverse those. You're doing this to yourself. And it's your choice. You have, you have free will. That's your choice. You can either let it consume you, or you can turn it into something beautiful. But it's only two weeks, so it's just a, a rough two weeks. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me today.